Solving systems of linear equations with zero, one, or infinitely many solutions. Two systems of equations are given below. For each system, choose the best description of its solution. If applicable, give the solution. All right, so here we see two systems of equations. We're just going to work with one at a time. So I'm going to start with this first one. I'm just going to rewrite it down here where I have some room to work with it. And 5x plus 7y equals 3. All right, I'm going to choose to solve this system by elimination, which means I want to either cancel out my x variables or cancel out my y variables. Right away, I see that my y variables have the same coefficient, which means they're almost ready to cancel out. However, if I were to add these equations right now, 7y plus 7y is 14y. Um, but I need it to become 0y, so I need to make one of these 7s negative. I'm going to choose a bottom equation, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1 to make that 7y become negative 7y. So I'm going to distribute that negative 1. So my new system is going to be 6x plus 7y equals 5 because that equation hasn't changed. And then I'll have negative 5x minus 7y equals negative 3. So now I see that the coefficients on the y have the same, are the same, and now they have opposite signs, which means they'll cancel out. So I can add my equations now. 6x plus a negative 5x is 1x, and 7y plus a negative 7y is 0y, or 0. And 5 plus a negative 3 is 2. So x equals, 1x equals 2, or x equals 2. <clears throat> now right away I can tell that this is going to have a unique solution because I found a unique x, which is 2. So I already know it's not no solution and it's not infinitely, infinite many, infinitely many solutions. To find the y portion of this, I'm going to plug this 2 back in to one of my equations to figure out y. I'm going to use the first equation. So I have 6x, oh, excuse me, I have 6, but instead of x, I'm going to plug in 2 plus 7y equals 5. Now 6 times 2 is 12, so I have 12 plus 7y equals 5 subtract 12 on both sides. So I have 7y equals negative 7. Divide by 7, y equals negative 1. So the correct answer to this is the solution has, or the system has a unique solution, and that solution is 2 comma negative 1. Well, that one's a little hard to see. I'll write it over here. 2 comma negative 1. <coughs> All right, so we've finished the first half of this problem. Now I'm going to draw a little line here so we can tell the difference. I'm going to work on the second system over here on the right. So first I'm just going to rewrite it so I have a little more room. 3x plus 4y equals 9, and 3x plus 4y equals 4. <clears throat> All right, again, I need to decide if I'm going to cancel out my x variables or my y variables. Now because the x's both have a coefficient of 3, and the y's both have a coefficient of 4, either one's going to be easy to cancel out. I'm going to choose to do x on this one. Now in order for this 3x and this 3x to cancel out, one of them needs to be negative. So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 1. And this will distribute. So my top equation is still the same, I haven't changed it. And the bottom equation is now negative 3x minus 4y equals negative 4. Now that my 3x and my negative 3x have the same coefficient and their opposite signs, I can add my equations. So 3x plus a negative 3x is 0, and 4y plus a negative 4y is actually 0 also. 9 plus a negative 4 is 5, so I get 0 equals 5. This is a false statement because 0 does not, in fact, equal 5. So I know that the system has no solution because this is a false statement. My variables canceled out and I got a false statement which tells me no solution. If my variables had canceled out and I had gotten a true statement at the end, then it would have been infinitely many solutions. And there you have this problem.